Dash cams offer peace of mind by recording video footage every time you drive. To help you find the right model for your needs and budget, we have analyzed the market and listed these 5 best dash cams for you. Check the description box for product links. In this video, we'll discuss what dash cams are, why you might want to consider them, and some of the best options. Number 5 Nexar Beam Dash Cam The Nexar Beam GPS Dash Cam comes in a compact box, which contains everything needed to get up and running. It includes the camera itself, a GPS mount with a suction pad, and a generous 3-meter cable with an adapter that plugs into a conventional 12V in-car power socket. The adapter also features two USB ports, but only one is needed to power the camera. Additionally, Nexar includes three small manuals, numbered 1 to 3, that illustrate the steps needed to set up the device. The camera feels quite robust and can withstand being mounted to a windshield or similar location for long periods. Nexar claims the camera can record 1080p Full HD with a 135-degree field of view and includes a built-in microphone. The parking mode feature allows for 24-7 security monitoring. If the vehicle is nudged, or bumped, or the camera is disturbed, it will automatically record the incident, even if the user is not present. The camera comes with a 32GB microSD card, but it can be expanded to 256GB. Additionally, Nexar offers unlimited cloud storage. To use the Nexar Beam GPS dashcam, users need to download the accompanying app. The camera's lens performs well with glare from early morning sunshine and clear skies, and it also delivers impressive footage after dark. The footage is crisp and clear, with minimal camera shake or wobble thanks to the robust mount included in the box. The audio quality is also impressive, capturing in-car conversations, radio, and turn signal sounds. Number 4 Ring Car Dash Cam The Ring Car Cam is a small, 1.6-inch square camera that won't obstruct your driving view. It can tilt up and down to help you find the best view. The camera attaches to a slim, 8.4-inch long arm that you mount to your windshield with an adhesive patch and wedge above your dashboard. The main unit contains two 1080p cameras, one faces outward to record the action in front of your vehicle. The outward-facing camera offers a 111-degree horizontal and a 56-degree vertical field of view and uses ambient light for color night vision. Meanwhile, the cabin-facing camera has a 148-degree horizontal and an 82-degree vertical field of view, along with two white LEDs that help it record black and white video. The inward-facing camera and built-in microphone and speaker allow you to see inside your car and interact with passengers remotely through the Ring app. The car cam has a cellular radio for on-the-go connectivity and a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi radio to access your home network. With this camera, you can record videos remotely, view a live feed, communicate with passengers in real-time, receive notifications, and locate your vehicle on a map via GPS. The car cam delivers relatively clean 1080p video. The front-facing camera provides a wide view of the road ahead and can capture license plate numbers of cars from up to 20 feet away. Color night videos look surprisingly clean. Number 3 Focue D2 Duo Dash Cam The Focue D2 Duo is equipped with high-quality HD lenses that can capture front camera footage in stunning 4K, 3840-2160p, resolution and rear camera footage in full HD 1080p. This allows you to capture important details on the road, such as vehicle number plates and road signs. The wide-angle lens covers three channels, providing you with a broad field of view. The new 3.39-inch IPS display offers an enhanced live video preview or recorded video playback experience with richer colors and optimized images. It also features smart voice control for the hands-free operation of the recorder. The dash cam also comes with faster 5 GHz Wi-Fi for quick video preview and download using the free app. Additionally, it has built-in GPS for recording vehicle speed, driving route, and real-time latitude and longitude. The 24-hour parking monitoring feature includes collision detection mode and time-lapse recording mode, ensuring comprehensive surveillance even when the vehicle is parked. The advanced Starva sensor, along with the f 1.5 large aperture lens and WDR-HDR technology, provides excellent night vision capability. The dash cam also includes seamless loop recording and a G sensor for continuous recording and protection of locked videos. It's recommended to format the TF card every two weeks for optimal performance. Number 2 Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 The Garmin Dash Cam Mini 2 is the smallest and most discreet dash cam on the market. It doesn't have a touchscreen display, but its compact size allows it to be neatly hidden behind your car's rearview mirror. 
Despite its small size, the Mini 2 records in Full HD at 30 frames per second through a 140-degree lens. It doesn't come with a memory card, so you'll need to provide your own, which should be at least 8GB. The camera supports cards up to 512GB. The Dash Cam Mini 2 has just two buttons, one on the side to switch audio recording on and off, and another on the back to save the most recent section of footage. It comes with a choice of USB cables, one short and one long, plus an adapter for powering the Dash Cam from a 12V lighter socket. The video quality is very good for its size and price. It shoots 1080p Full HD with HDR at 30 frames per second through a 140-degree lens. However, the Mini 2 doesn't have GPS. A parking mode is available, but it requires Garmin's constant power cable, sold separately, which hardwires the Mini 2 to your car. The Dash Cam supports audio recording, which can be controlled by speaking to the Dash Cam. Garmin's voice control system works well, but there are no driver assistance features with the Mini 2. Number 1 Vantru N43 Channel 4K Dash Cam, the N4 is just over 4 inches long, 1.5 inches deep, and wide, making it a bit on the large size. Its size is necessary to accommodate both the front and interior cameras, as well as a crisp 2.45-inch IPS color display. On top of the unit, there are 5 buttons menu, OK slash record, left, right, and power to navigate the on-screen menus. On the left side of the main body, there is a USB Type-C port for the rear camera or attaching the unit to a computer to offload video, a micro HDMI video port for outputting to a TV, etc., an SD card slot, and a tiny reset button. The front camera has a maximum resolution of 2160p-30 frames per second with a field of view of 155 degrees, but it drops to 1440p when both the interior and rear cameras are in use. It will stay at 2160p when used with either the interior or rear cameras but drops from 30 frames per second to 25 frames per second. The interior camera is 1080p with a 165 degree FOV, and the rear camera is 1080p with a 160 degree FOV. The power cable is an auxiliary type C, and a 20 foot cable is provided to connect the rear camera. There is no SD card included with the N4. The N4 offers three parking modes, motion detection using the camera, impact detection using the G-sensor, and a low-resolution 720p at 15 frames per second continuous capture mode. There is also a time-lapse image capture feature to save storage space. All of the best dash cams are on our list. Please click the thumbs up icon if you found this video to be helpful. Which dash cams would you choose? Let us know what you think by leaving a remark below. Thank you for your time click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you found this video to be useful in any way so you won't miss any upcoming updates. All of you who viewed before that I hope to see you in the upcoming video.